So I'd like to start with with the question you have a pretty strong fan base here in Germany. Ah yes. And I was wondering if is this the first time you you are here in Germany? Yes, it's my first visit to Germany completely. I've not even come here on holidays before, so um, yes, I, I I keep seeing you know towns through the taxi windows and thinking I have to come back yeah? <laughs> and see that and see that. Yeah. yeah. And so you, you do like your trip so far? Oh yes, it's been wonderful. Um, yeah. It's been. I don't know if you're aware that I came over on the 1st of May, so I've been to the UK, to Dublin, to Poland, to France, and now Germany. And uh, I'll be going home um, after spending a week in Berlin just being a tourist. Oh, okay, that's yeah. nice. So, yeah, it sounds stressful as well, so... It's just busy. What do you think is the best thing to be able to, when you when you're able to meet with your readers? Or what do you like best? Oh, meeting people face to face. Um, the internet is nice, but it's a bit impersonal. You don't really get to see people in, in person and, and just chat to them. Um, I don't necessarily get to chat to them very long in the signing, but um, it's just so nice to actually meet people in person. If you would meet someone, obviously that won't happen, I think, at this reading round, but if you would meet someone who's telling you that he didn't read any of your books yet, how would you describe the kind of books you write for? Or such a person? Well, the first thing I'd ask them is if they read fantasy yeah. um, at all. And if they don't, um, and they are interested in reading books, then my standard answer is uh, it's somewhere between Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Because they're the two things that they're more, most likely to recognize. Mm -hmm. And then I'll say it's more accessible than Lord of the Rings, but it's not for children. Okay. And um, just a little bit about what the Sonia saga is about? Or the oh, Sonia. The ambassador. Okay. Do you mean the, 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 the second trilogy, yeah, actually? The sequel trilogy. Well, it's a sequel trilogy, so oh, the yeah. first thing is it's actually following on from the Light Mission trilogy about 20 years later. So most of the characters return 20 years older. So Sonia is middle-aged. Um, she's an overprotective mother. Uh, the newest character is Lorcan, her son, who uh, has an interesting sort of history to, to live up to. He's got two very famous parents. And... Uh, People seem to expect him to to be to do as great things as his parents, to be um, as famous, and and yet Sonia would actually much rather he stayed safe at home. <laughs> um, but when an opportunity comes along to do something uh, interesting, potentially um, helpful to the guild, he seizes it and goes off to Sachaka to be an assistant to Lord Daniel, who's going to be. Uh, a guild ambassador there. Um, and they start to, through, through Lord Daniel's um, research, they start to find hints of a, an ancient but very possibly useful magic um, that might one day um, help the guild. Um, while Sonia grows in age, you did grow as a writer, I'd say. So was therefore writing the second trilogy about Imardin um, a different writing experience compared to the first trilogy? I think every book's a new and different writing experience. They all throw up their own challenges. I know Sonia was um, between about 16 and 19 in the first series. Um, I was older than that uh, at the time, but she's a very mature person. I, I don't think Sonia is me. I think Sonia might be a little bit of what I'd like to be. I'm much more of a coward than she is. <laughs> uh, in the new books, she's, she's very close to my age, so I was seeing her both as a, you know, coming on to middle-aged woman, and, but also friends are my age and have children, so I was uh, seeing, I suppose, through their eyes what, what they might, uh, using them as inspiration as well. Uh, so that's all very new. Um, yeah, every single book is a, a whole new exploration. So it's a little bit... I, I wanted to ask you next, to whom you feel closer, to the old Sonia, uh, to the older Sonia, or to the young Sonia of the first trilogy? I'm not sure, actually. Um, possibly at the moment the, the new one, just because we're closer in age. But um, How important is success to you, and do you feel that your success changed your style of writing? Ooh, I don't think it changed my style of writing, because um, ultimately when I sit down in front of the computer I forget all that. I just get involved in the story, and I want to tell a good story. Um, I suppose... Uh, success has changed that I can actually write full time. Um, and it, it does come down, success comes down to the practicalities of it. Uh, for example, if I didn't, didn't get paid to write books, then I'd have to have another job, so I wouldn't have as much time to write. So I wouldn't 
um, write as much, I wouldn't write, um, produce books as often, I wouldn't get the practice in, I wouldn't get as good as I've got as quickly as I've got. It would take a lot longer. So there's all that practicality behind things.